Oof, bark, bark. Did you think I was a dog? Well, I'm not, but now I'm gonna show you a dude who spent $15,000 to look like a dog. Hey, yeah, perfect. That is the most uncanny valley thing I have ever seen because it does very much so look like a dog But there's something off about it and it, it really really throws you off It hits you right in the pit of your stomach and makes you think that you need to run away Immediately because inside of there is not a dog But a man a Japanese man who spent a buku ridiculous amount of money to look like a dog. More specifically, he wants to look like the dog breed, Collie. And if you look at the pictures here, he does look very close, but he looks like a horrible Chuck E. Cheese mascot ripoff. Like some weirdly made animatronic. Something about it just <laughs> feels so wrong. In the realm of people dressing up as animals, it's way better than a fursuit. It also costs way more than a fursuit. It, it probably doesn't have that little trap door for your butthole in it. And also, is he doing this in a sexual way? Because I've seen some people saying that this is definitely a sexual thing. But I'm thinking if this was a sexual thing, he wouldn't have spent $15,000 on it. If he wanted to do it for some sex reason, he would have bought one of those fursuits that have the openable butthole so you can have easy access. This thing, this is dedication. It's dedication to a, a hobby, no matter how odd that hobby is. Be careful. Are you good? Watching him try to walk is even more frightening because I'm thinking in my head that this thing is trying to fool me into thinking a false sense of security thinking that it's just a normal dog but then when I get close when it's too late I realize it's not actually a dog. And also if you haven't noticed already the dude has a YouTube channel called I Want To Be An Animal where he just had for the past year he's been posting about this real the realistic dog suit saying that Ningen Human! Human! See, I know a little bit of Japanese. I bet you're impressed now, huh? Yeah, don't let your- don't let your girlfriends watch this. I'll steal them straight- straight out from underneath your fingertips with my mediocre, very beginner Japanese. But it was only recently that this thing blew up with the most recent video at- well, this was yesterday that I haven't refreshed the page at 1.6 million, but now it's at 2.9 million. So overnight it got 1.3 million views. The- the like to dislike ratio is- not very good because I think most people just think this is bizarre wacko shit and it definitely is but I think the dude is just <laughs> very passionate I, I think this is a lot of passion right here even dogs are terrified and you can hear the lady said he's scared because you're so much bigger no it's not because it's so much bigger it thought that was an actual another fellow dog and went to say what's up fellow dog and then it's like oh that is not a dog don't know what that is but i gotta get away from it which is exactly how i felt that's the feeling it gives me is i gotta run away and get as far away from possible as this thing because it's terrifying <laughs> Imagine just walking down the street in Japan, you're just a Japanese person going to work, going to school, coming home from work, and you see a camera pointed at a dog in the down and like laying down on the ground, and then it starts waving at you. I would start thinking that I just sold my car to buy a mountain of crack and then I just smoked it all. Because in what world would a dog be waving at me on the sidewalk? And I'd be like Spongebob in that episode where he gets scared and goes, Ah! 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 <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I'm not just hating on this dude. I'm not just taking a dump all over him and his hobby. I think it's very cool. But I think it's cool in the way that he is so dedicated to this that he would put that much money into it to get this much of a hopper realistic suit. The rest of it, it's just fucking strange. It's just weird. There's no, there's no way of tiptoeing around it. The dude is weird. And he obviously knows that because he's keeping his identity a secret. He doesn't want anybody to know this is him in the suit. 
good idea for sure, but I, I don't. How do you even find out that you want to be a dog like this? Like, I, I've seen those TL, was it a TLC thing where that lady thought she was a dog, but all she really did was put on, like, ears and a tail? This dude is putting actual time, dedication, and lots of money into role-playing as a dog. I guess that's what they mean when they say everybody's as different as a snowflake. You know, everybody has their own personalities and interests. I just can't understand. I can't get into the mindset that this guy's in to even think about wanting to try this because it's going to be super hot in there. You get in there on a hot day, you're going to be swampy taint to the max. You're going to be all ugh, yucked up in there. And then you got to be army crawling on your hands and knees all day acting like a dog, which I guess is par for the course if you're wanting to be an animal. And then also, what's the bathroom situation? Yeah, I got to ask. What is the bathroom situation like? You got a, you got cutouts for like your willy and then your your other your butthole, or do you have to take the whole suit off to use the bathroom and then get back in the suit? These are all questions that I want to know the answer to, but I'm way too scared to try to figure it out or ask. So I'm just gonna not do that. And that's the end of the video. I just wanted to show you this little dog outfit. This dude that wants to be an animal. His name is Toko the Human Collie. And uh, he's on his journey to becoming a dog.